Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Research and Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran. In this video, we will discuss how to create a Google Scholar profile. Sometime whenever you are applying for any research positions, then universities might ask you to share your Google Scholar profile along with the CV or the cover letter. So this is my uh, Google Scholar profile and here you can see uh, all of my research publications you know and you can also see the citation high index i10 index all these details but the thing is how to create this profile for this purpose you need to open google scholar you can simply uh, open google scholar by uh, by just searching on the Google, Google Scholar, or you can also write scholar.google.com. This is definitely a famous website which you normally use for searching the articles for your research or the thesis or the article, whatever you are doing related to research. So um, when you open this uh, website, if you are already logged in with your Google account, so it will be automatically connected with that Google account. So you can see now this is my Google Scholar screen. If you, I want to go to my profile, I simply need to go to my profile. Since I haven't created a Google Scholar profile on this email address, so that's why it is only showing me my name, but other things are just blank. So first thing what you can do is just you can also switch account from here to if you want to attach this profile to any other email address you can also do it and here you can write your complete name like I'm writing uh, my name then I can write my affiliation email for verification sometime because uh, it is important whenever you are uh, creating a Google Scholar profile, always try to connect it with your university email address. So in that way, it can, uh, you know, send you an email so that you can ultimately verify it. You can also write the area of interest and you can, if you have any homepage or your, your website link, you can also provide here. After that, you will click next. When I move from profile to articles, so this is a page from where I can get all the related articles that are belong to me, to my profile. For instance, I'm, I can search those articles by using the author's name or I can also search by using the article titles. So let me write my name here and search. Since there are many authors that have same names as mine, so that's why it is showing me so many options. So for instance, if I feel that this is my name, so I will click it and I can simply click to see if all these articles belong to me. Suppose if I feel all these articles belong to me, I will simply click this arrow when I click arrow so it took me to this particular page since I haven't created a profile before uh, by using this email address so that's why it is asking me all these options first one is whether I want to click apply updates automatically or it uh, I want the Google Scholar to email me updates for review for instance if any article that belong to this author will uh, publish so it will be automatically added but if you just click email me then uh, google scholar will send you an email then after reviewing it you can simply add to that article to your profile then there is an option of if you want to make your profile as public or if you uh, want to make it private you can do uh, you can also do it and after that follow by email in case if you want to receive an update on a specific topic, you can simply click new articles related to my research. So uh, whenever there is any new publication on a topic that is uh, belong to my current research area, the so Google Scholar will automatically send me an email. And after that, I can also 
opt this option as new citation to my articles if if there is any new citation of my article so google scholar will send me an update so that i can see if there is any new citation that belong to my publications so after that i can just click done so once i will click done, done so my profile is automatically being created and if i want to add any more articles i can just simply click by using this particular option add article and it also showing me the option of add article manually if you feel that there is any specific article which is not available at google scholar then you can also add that uh, article by using this option of add article manually but if you want to add an article which is already on the google scholar you can simply click add articles and from here uh, if you see there is a specific article which was recently published you can simply click and after that you can simply click this particular arrow so that new publication will be automatically added to your profile so this is how you can create your google scholar profile and this is how you can update it i hope this video will be helpful thanks for watching